Now that we know how to process a weight tree, let's think about creating one. Here's the signature and purpose for generate weight tree, which will take two places in a map and produce a weight tree describing how to get there. We can then use that with the functions we've already created to process that weight tree and tell us how to get where we want to go. Let's think about how we're going to create a weight tree using generate weight tree. Here's a couple examples that we want to work. If we're starting in Bloomington and ending in Bloomington, we're already done. That's something that our map will tell us, but also we don't even need the map. If we're starting in Bloomington and going to St. Louis, we can get there in one step. We start in Bloomington, we go to St. Louis, and then we're done. We don't need to look at all the possibilities in order to figure out which uh, one we want. Also, there's only one place we can go from Bloomington. Similarly to our previous examples with generating trees for generative recursion, we're going to think about the two possible outputs we could create. We're going to either produce a done or a stop. If we look at our two examples, we can see that one is a make done and one is a make stop. When are we done? We're done exactly when the start and end are the same. In that case, we can just produce a make done and we've already gotten to where we wanted to go. Otherwise, we're going to need to look at all of the neighbors of where we're starting. We can use the neighbors function that we've just written to create that list of neighbors. And now we just have to use it somehow to produce another sequence of weight trees to put together into a make stop. We're going to want to produce a different weight tree for each of those neighbors, describing how to get there if we can. For each of those weight trees, we're going to for each of those neighbors, which is a place, we're going to do one thing in particular, which is generate a weight tree. Generate weight tree takes three inputs. We need to supply the map. We need to supply where we want to go, which hasn't changed, it's still end. And then, most importantly, we need to start from that new neighbor. That means we're creating a new route that goes from start to P, and then from P all the way to end via the weight tree that we create with generate weight tree. So we've made our problem simpler by one step. We've gone from start to P, and then from P to end. Traveling from P to end should hopefully be easier than traveling from start to end. And so we've made our problem simpler, and that's how Generate weight tree is going to eventually produce a complete weight tree describing how to get from start to end. Now let's try it out and run generate weight tree to create our weight tree from Bloomington to Los Angeles. What happens?